my channel, Living Linux. So this audio file was created on a Sipeed Litchi console, which is a Risk Five mini laptop. In an earlier video, I showed you stable diffusion on the Litchi console, and we can do some. AI because it has vector instructions, although it's version 0 0.7. I have ordered the Banana Pi F3, which is a Risk V computer, and that chip should have the vector instructions 1.0. Now I've been told that the binaries that they are not compatible between version 0 0.7 and version 1.0. So I found Sherpa Onyx and one of the things it can do is text-to-speech. So the intro was generated with Sherpa Onyx and they say that it should also work on the Vision 5.2. Now, I have not been able to compile it, um, but they do have binaries. And when I tried the binary on the Vision 5.2, it gave the error illegal instruction. So I have the suspicion that they use vector instructions and the Vision 5.2 doesn't have vector instructions. So perhaps one of the other programs that they don't use vectors, I haven't tried them all yet. And I have been able to get text-to-speech working, but one of the things was that it is extremely slow. I'm not really sure why. So, but if you want to try this yourself, um, yeah, there's a link to the documentation. And it has instructions on how to compile it, but yeah, I wasn't able to get this working on either the Vision 5.2 or the Litchi Pi console. Uh, both of them, let's just say they have sort of experimental Debian images. So yeah, not everything is working as it is supposed to. So who knows in the future that we can compile it ourselves and perhaps we'll get better performance. So perhaps if you have the Banana Pi F3, then who knows that you can get it working on that one. Uh, I've ordered one myself, but it hasn't been shipped yet. So I still have to wait for that one. Now, if you check the embedded Linux RISC-V, Yeah, they do have the link to the binary files. So they say it's best to download the latest version. So it's uh, um, compressed. So you have to decompress it before you can use it. And if we go back, there 
there's I think there should be somewhere on how to use it the text to speech Yeah, so here's the text-to-speech. So they have pre-trained models. And I think the LJ speech, this one is working. Although, like I said, it is uh, quite slow. So you can extract the model into the bin directory of Sherpa Onyx. So in this case, I extracted it here, fits LJS. And they have the example commands to get it working. So here you can see that I already did this. And like I said, it's very slow. So here you can see that it took more than two minutes for an audio file of four seconds. So yeah, I've tried it with some other models. Um, it was a lot faster, but it didn't give any meaningful results. I'm not really sure if it's because of the lexicon. So if you look into the directory, there's a lexicon. Um, and besides the lexicon, you also have the tokens. So perhaps there are different lexicon and token files for different models, but uh, yeah, it, not really sure if they have the correct files with all the model files. So the only one that I got working is the FITS LJS. So the good part is, is that we can get something like this working on Risk Five, and in this case, the LitchiPy console, and that means that it should also work on the LitchiPy 4A. The bad part is is that, but at least so far for me, it is really slow. So I'll try to keep investigating and see if we can get some faster results. And like I said, once I get my banana pie F3, then I will try to also run it on that one. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.